Now that you know how to create and save a ride in the Harley Ride Planner, what other features are available? We'll look at some of those in this video. In the last video, we loaded a ride into the infotainment system and called it up for use. In this video, we'll look at additional features in the routing module. Here we are at the Harley Ride Planner homepage, and we're going to look at some additional features of the Ride Planner. I'm logged in, and first I'm going to look at the saved rides by clicking Saved. Here's the ride that we created in the earlier video and other rides that I have saved. Now you can see over here on the left that you can create uh, filters. You can see the rides that are planned. Those are the ones you created. Ones you recorded. Those are rides that you record using the app on your cell phone and rides that have been shared with you. I don't know how to share a ride with someone else. Maybe that's a feature that's coming. You can also see recommended um, Harley-Davidson rides and events dealers and uh, Eagle Rider rides. Also, if you save an event, you can see it over here by clicking on events. But let's go back and look at a preview of the ride we saved earlier. Now there's a feature I didn't show you last time, and that's this bar down here at the bottom. This slider shows you motion along your path. And while it says it departs at this time, um, which is about the time it is now when I'm recording this, it just shows you this black dot and it says that at that point we're 20 miles from the beginning. So you can move to any place along the route and say, okay, when we get to this turn, we're 54 miles from the beginning. I don't know if that's handy uh, feature or not. Um, then let's go into edit the ride. Notice that it says edit ride and earlier it said customize program needs a little work. So one thing you can do is um, click over here beside locations, click on directions, and you can get turn-by-turn -turn directions displayed here. And if you click print directions, you have the map, and below it, the turn-by-turn -turn directions and you can interact with this map by zooming it and moving it to suit yourself and you could even do uh, different views like the satellite view. Now let's do normal. Um, the instructions are down below and you have the option to print or not print those instructions and print or not print the image of the map and you would hit print to send it to your printer. Now, let's go back to locations. One thing we can do is create a round trip. So, by clicking this, the ride planner puts a new destination, which was our starting destination, and creates another route. But you notice it goes along here directly back to the beginning. It doesn't follow the waypoints that we put in. If I click undo up here, then we just have our original route. Now then, the other option is to reverse the route. Go back, start at the cafe, and go back. Looks good, right? Well, there is a problem, and you need to be aware that this is going to happen if you have put a waypoint on a divided highway or an exit ramp. 
So here we have a waypoint on the exit ramp from 275 to 19. And notice, this is crazy, it wants you to come down here, get on 275, get off at the rest area, go underneath the bridge, come back, hit the waypoint on the ramp, and then go back around and go off and go over the bridge. So anywhere where you have a double divided highway or, or a ramp, you then have to go in on the reverse route and move it like that. And then it goes crazy. Look at this. It wants to go up through the neighborhood, and um, we've got a loop of some sort here. Um, I've played with this earlier, and if I move this waypoint up to here, it seems to straighten out and um, skip the gas station and go there. So you have to play with the route. And uh, once again, I didn't zoom in. Got to put it on the road. So that's the reverse route. It's handy, but you have to be sure you check every point along the way. We're back at the Harley Ride Planner home screen, and I'm logged in. I want to create a route and not put in the starting and ending points with these boxes, but uh, I want to show different ways of searching for places you want to go. So up here in the location list it says add start location and you can type in a location. Here's a caution. Don't let your mouse be over the white bar like it is here because it goes crazy when you type. And it went to Homer, Alaska, for instance, and I want to go to the someplace else. So what you have to do is make sure your mouse is sitting above that white bar somewhere else. I want to go to the Quality Inn in Live Oak, Florida. And it doesn't find it. Why is that? Well, that's because we haven't initialized the database. I'm going to click Search This Area, which brings in the database for the area of the screen. I try it again. Quality in. Nope. I must have my mouse in the wrong place. There, we finally found it. What a mess. Then I want to add my destination, which is the Comfort in Covington, Louisiana. There we go. Now we got it. So we searched in that those search boxes to add locations. We looked at how the mouse, where the location of the mouse is can make it really rough. Now I want to create a ride and search a different way, not using these boxes. But I'm going to search using the points of interest bubbles. And I want to make sure that my options for hotels is clicked it is. And this is the Live Oak area. I'm going to search this area. And there are the uh, points of interest hotels. And when I zoom in, uh, there's the quality in Live Oak. And I can add it to the ride. Then I can zoom out and go over, drag the map over to Louisiana. This 
is where Covington is, and search this area for hotels. And let's see, there are two in this list, Best Western and Courtyard. So you see this is not extremely easy. There it is, the Comfort Inn and Suites. I want to add that to the ride and it creates the route for me, which I can preview and save and download. So that's two ways to search for destinations that are points of interest. That concludes this video on additional features in the routing module. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up as it really helps us by letting YouTube know that others might like to see this video. You can support the channel by clicking on the Amazon product links in the description. I'll see you in the next video.